Hello and welcome to the video on how to install a, an oil filter relocation kit on a Rhino 660. First of all, you have to have a Rhino 660. Pull the uh, driver's side, passenger side seat, center console, just like you're going to do an oil change. And uh, remove the filter. Install the adapter. Those two bolts that hold the oil lines on, that bracket that hold the oil lines on, is for the remote mounting plate. Pull the filter off. That's the last time you'll make a mess there after you put this kit on. Put a little oil on the O-ring before you install the adapter, just like you would on the filter. Uh, let's see. Undo those two bolts. I'll give you two bolts that are a little bit longer to mount the plate on. Then once you get those two bolts snugged up, remove the oil filter. Fill it up with a little bit of oil. It takes a minute for it all to settle, so just... Fill it up as full as you can get it. Put a little oil around the O-ring on that one also. Reinstall the filter. Uh, connect the two hoses. Center to center, outside to outside. You can still have enough room to get to the dipstick. Uh, wash everything off. And that should be the last time you ever have to clean up a mess on your floor or your rhino all over the engine. There's anodized, there's powder coated, uh, blue, uh, let's see, black, got some gold ones. Uh, the gold didn't turn out too well, but the polished ones look good, the black ones look good, blue ones look good. Uh, those are the black lines, you can't see the fittings, but they're the same fittings like those. 6AN, uh, so there's no problems with uh, leakage. My Rhino is a built up one, so I have a PH8A. Uh, the ones that I'm selling now are for the stock Rhino filter or a Fram PH6017A or compatible. Um, I have the stock machined finish, blue anodized, black anodized, uh, polished aluminum. Uh, just check it out. The website hopefully will be up this weekend. I'm trying. Uh, thank you and have fun.